These were the scenes along Makadara Road and part of Digo Road in Mombasa early Tuesday morning. Activists and members of the public taking to the streets demanding a thorough probe and clear answers on allegations of theft of billions of taxpayers and donor funds at Kemsa. Ikiwa wananchi wanataka kuilinda hii katiba, basi tuanze civil disobedience. Vile vile, ipuanzo 1990s. Tukapigenia uh, uh, section 2 of the constitution. Tumerudi pale pale. Police engaging protesters in running battles shortly after they gathered at Makadara grounds to add their voices of displeasure on the alleged embezzlement and seek answers on reports of mega corruption at the Ministry of Health. You cannot tell us COVID-19 regulations and you are stealing our funds. That is wrong. Kenyans must speak out. The Mombasa demonstrations part of similar happenings in several major towns in the country. <laughs> Protesters took to the streets in Kisumu and Nakuru yesterday. At least six protesters were arrested today in what the police termed as an illegal gathering and violation of COVID-19 restrictions. The National Assembly Public Accounts Committee has called for an audit by the Auditor General within 60 days and expects regular updates and answers from the utilization of the billions set aside to combat COVID-19 pandemic. From the date of this communication, to undertake this forensic audit we expect we expect that within one month from today she will furnish us with an interim report national assembly speaker justin moturi says parliament will fully participate in ensuring funds set aside to fight the spread of the covid 19 pandemic are fully accounted for if they find that there's something that is suspicious yeah it's only requests and orders for either special audit or full audit Muturi further challenged investigative agencies to look into the graft allegations and ensure Kenyans know the truth about reports of runaway corruption in Kemsa, an agency under the Ministry of Health. In what could arguably be one of the biggest scandals of the decade, the Public Accounts Committee is now issuing a 60-day window to the Office of the Auditor General to get to the bottom of how COVID-19 billions have been utilized. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV. Nairobi. Meanwhile,